Hey everyone, Pelican Tacos here. Gonna tell you a little bit of something I found today. Uh, brought to you by Podshot, a uh, developer over on the GitHub. So, um, found this looking for an invisible bedrock barrier wall. Something, you know. A lot of people have talked about the invisible bedrock that's on the PE. Um, but here, this is for vanilla Minecraft, and it's pretty sweet. Uh, what this does is, is it turns the air blocks into bedrock and makes them invisible using that hidden block 36 ID and then makes it invisible on both sides, adding that bedrock layer on each side. So um, what I've done here is I've created my own void world, and this is a 100 by 100 uh, one thick block We come into it. And when we look at it, it's got all the yellow around it there, representing all the different blocks. So the way you do this, you'd think you'd use the selection tool, the number four, but you actually use the clone. Uh, what I found is that it's much easier to create like a one by five by one set of these blocks and then use the filter and then use that in the clone tool. That worked so much better rather than doing it the other way. And if I go into Minecraft, I will have an invisible wall there, which is pretty cool. And what we're going to do is actually create an invisible block. So I've copied this, and I'm going to paste it here. And we're going to roll it, rotate it, align it right up here. And if you wait for it just a second, we're going to have a block cube 100 by 100 that would be perfect uh, in vanilla Minecraft servers so that you don't have to worry about you know adding those extra mods in there uh, for people or keeping people out because it's bedrock and in survival you can't destroy it it's pretty sweet alright so here it is it's my 100 by 100 cube uh, if we go inside it, I did put some grass down below so that we can see when we go inside the world. So let's do that. You ready to check it out? Pretty sweet. Pretty mesmerizing. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? It's great. All right, let's see what it looks like. Let's do some saving. All right, I'm outside of it. So let's go up inside the grass block there. Boom. All right, so just looks like a normal super flat. But when we come to the edge of the world, are we going to fall off? That's the test. Let's see. No, we're not. Look at that. Because look, there's some blocks there. Isn't that sweet? So invisible bedrock barrier, thanks to Podshot, this little golden nugget that was just hiding on the internet somewhere. Hadn't seen anybody post about this. We go up. Notice what's up here. We're going to run into the ceiling, get up there at about 100, there it is, we're at 75, boom, we should start running into the blocks, there it is, alright, so I cannot hit it, I go past it, now if I, I am in creative, I can break these, uh, just because, you know, I'm in creative and I can do anything, but if I change my game mode to survival, it's been updated, and I cannot break it. Nope. We can do this all day, folks. All day. All day. Okay, this is getting boring. All right. So that's it, man. Isn't that sweet? I love it. Podshot, you're amazing. Thanks for doing this. It's pretty sweet. I will definitely have some schematics for you to download if you'd like. Uh, definitely work on that cloning. That's got to be the easiest way to do it. That selection mode does not work as well as the cloning does. Um, but definitely, ooh, look at that. There it is. That's the wall. And you can't build on it, too. So if I want to do something, boom. So I can see it up all down along there so because it's technically a block but it's invisible sweet